guys. Today we're taking a look at the M20 Warrior by Olight. This is a special operations version of the light. Uh, I gotta say, first impressions, man, I love this. I've been playing with this thing non-stop since I got it. I just think it's, it's extremely cool. I mean, you got that awesome polished uh, crenellated bezel there. And it's just a nice contrast from the, the uh, black light, which seems like a really nice finish. Uh, I actually have dropped it a couple times, uh, taking it outside and messing around, getting pictures for the... Uh, the review and just using it in general and I haven't uh, managed to scratch it yet. Oh yeah, like I said, that, that bezel is just really cool. It's just a, it's a really striking looking light. It has a really nice appearance to it. You got Olight on one side here. You flip it over. Let's see if you can see that or not. It says M20 Warrior Special Operations. You get a better look at it when I do the macro shots at the end of the video. Before we jump into the light itself, uh, we'll take a look at the packaging and what it came with here. This is the XPG S2 version, uh, which claims to be 7% brighter than the XRE. Actually, when I picked this up, I got it on Amazon, and uh, I went with the cheaper, one of the older XRE versions of it, and I paid 80 bucks for it. I think it was $80.98. The XPG version seemed to be going for about 100 uh, slightly more than that maybe. And uh, to be honest, I just didn't have the extra money. I wanted to order a couple other things, and it's it's the difference between the XRE and the XPG isn't so huge. Uh, that it would have bothered me in any way. The XPG is is superior, you know, in my opinion, to the XRE, but it's not a, it's not a you know a revolutionary leap or anything. So uh, saving the money actually allowed me to also pick up the uh, the weapons mount for it, the Olight weapons mount. Talk about that a little bit later. But yeah, it wasn't a big deal. But uh, it came in the mail. It was quick shipping, and when it came, it actually was the XPG version, the S2. So I was extremely happy about that. I paid for the cheaper version and ended up getting the uh, the brand new XPG version, so I uh, finally caught a little bit of luck there, so that was pretty cool. You see it's got the various specifications on the side. Uh, a change in my videos that's coming up, I'm just going to bring up a graphic with the uh, the specs. I'm not going to blabber on about them. Uh, you obviously know what this is if you're looking into it. You can get the specs anywhere, so I'm not going to waste your time with it. I'm just going to bring up a graphic that has all these specs on it. I will talk about some of them, obviously, in the review, but uh, I'm not going to sit and just parrot the... Uh, the specs to you. So flip it over here. So you got a different graphic. You have an ancient K there suppressed. It's pretty cool. Like I said, it's a really nice box. You feel like you actually got something for your money when it uh, comes in the mail. So pop this open here. Take a look at it. Uh, that space right there is for the manual. I have the manual over on the side. So yeah, but the manual would be right there. And when you open it up, you have your case, which is actually a pretty nice case. Uh, on the sides here, you have these little elastic flaps uh, that are meant to hold the extra battery carriers. Um, when you get your light it comes with one battery carrier for your slide your CR123s and your various batteries. You can actually buy extra ones and then carry two on this uh, sheath which is a nice idea. You see you have your hole, your open hole in the top that's for the light to stick through and you have a hole in the bottom as well. Uh, you could engage your light if it was on you. Say you had this chest mounted uh, it would light up the ground pretty much hands free which is a nice idea. You open it up, you have your Velcro. It's actually a, a fairly large opening if I bring the, uh, the M28S back in here. Oops, turn it out a little bit. And close it. See how it comes through the top. There's a lot of a lot of extra space. I mean, I could actually get two fingers in there on the side. Uh, that does help to come out fast, but I think this is more of a general purpose sheath. I would, I'd probably guess that they give you the same sheath with the uh, M21, maybe the, the M30, I'm not sure. But I think this is probably made to fit more than one light and uh, as a cost saving uh, function for them. On the back you have your Velcro uh, belt clip here, which is nice. And you also have, oops, the camera a little bit. You also have a, uh, a ring here so you can lock it onto some of your gear. It's a pretty nice sheath. It's uh, a lot higher quality than what you, you normally see. You normally get those little floppy, uh, crappy stretch sheaths like uh, the LD20 came with. This is a definite step up. I'm not going to be using this because luckily. My Maxpedition, the sheath I've been using my LD20 with, this Maxpedition one, actually fits this light. I'll show you. Throw that in there. Flip it down. You can see that's a nice, bring them in together. You can see that's a much more compact package there. Uh, when you get the light, mine shipped with the anti roll uh, flange here, which also has the hole for uh, the little lanyard attachment. Uh, and the light also does come with the, the smooth ring. The, uh, the flush ring there. I switched that out uh, for EDCing. I'm not sure which one I'm going to uh, 
keep on there, but I'm going to flip back and forth and see what I like better. I think this is probably the better EDC option, but this thing will roll. I mean, if you get it on get it on a uh, slant, it will uh, get away from you. So I see the uh, the benefits to the anti roll there. Also, it comes with you have a, a fluorescent replacement tail switch. Uh, if you expose that to light or shine your light on it, it will glow in the dark. It's not a full glow in the dark item. I, I you know, so I, I haven't switched mine out. It also comes with, uh, let me see, one, two, three. It also comes with four extra uh, O-rings there. So that's that's pretty cool. It's always good to see. And you have your uh, little lanyard that it comes with. Just your regular cord. You have your uh, adjustment spacer there. Then you have your little lobster claw type of uh, attachment there. It's not bad. I probably wouldn't use this because it, you'd have to use the uh, you have to use the any roll flange on it to connect it. And that, that would put your lanyard coming from like here, almost mid light. I really don't like that. Um, if I was going to do that, I would just loop a piece of paracord under the clip there, the pocket clip, just like I did. Uh, if you've seen my Leatherman Wave video, I did the same thing on there. Like I said, man, I just haven't been able to put this down. This thing is just damn cool. Uh, I really enjoy the uh, different modes of operation. The bezel is just extremely cool. Uh, one, another thing I like about the bezel is you can actually unscrew it. See that? You want to kind of demilitarize the light, you know, for a better, uh, lack of a better term there. And that just screws back on, which is really nice. I love that polished bezel, it's just awesome. Uh, we're getting kind of long winded here, so let's jump into the modes of operation. Let me turn my light off here. When you hit the switch in the back, it comes on, you see I have it on high, uh, high power there. When you use your, your side button, you can flip through the different modes. Strobe. This is back to the low, which is 5 lumens. Supposedly, it will do this for 600 hours. Now, I don't know if it will actually last that long, but even if it lasts uh, 25 or 50 percent of that, it would be pretty amazing. Somebody if somebody feels like sending me some damn uh, CR123s, I'll run the thing. I'll, I'll leave it on low and throw it in my backyard until it dies and, uh, and film it, but I can't afford to waste the batteries. So you go to medium. Very usable light uh, and medium. I really like the uh, the medium setting. Let's see. That is 11 hours on 110 lumens. And then you flip to the high, and that's 320 lumens for 4 hours. And then you obviously have your strobe. So I'll bring the light back on. Now my favorite part of the light is, you see you have it on low. I turn it off. When you turn it back on, it's still on low so it has your memory for instance we'll take it up to medium turn it off turn it back on it's on medium I think that's absolutely awesome I love lights that have memory like that and I think out of all the flashlights I've used this is probably my favorite mode of operation um, the side button here since this is a special operations version if you have the light off and you pull this out and hit it it immediately goes to a full power strobe so you just touch it full power strobe you turn the light back on, and then that's used to slip through the different modes of operation. So you can you can do a momentary on, and it remembers the uh, mode of operation you had it on. For instance, it's on low. I could come off of that, go to a full power strobe, go back to the same mode of operation I had with the momentary, or lock it on full. I think this is a really really smart uh, version of the uh, user interface for the light. Uh, to me this is my favorite. I love, absolutely love how this works. Hey guys, just about to shoot the uh, night footage comparison. See we got the, uh, the ghetto bird hovering looking for somebody. It's been there for about 10 minutes so I'm not going to uh, wait any longer. We'll just shoot the footage here. So let's go over right here. Uh, we start out with the M20S and go through the modes and then I got the LD20 for comparison. So here we go. 5 lumens, it's more of a reading light, you can't really see that too well. You, get, you go to your medium, which is a very usable light. And you go to high, which is crazy, super bright. You can see the flood and the spill there on the sides. Look at that, super bright. Alright, bust out the LD20. On the LD20 I'm going to go straight to turbo, just to make it a little simpler on me. So there we go. There's there's turbo on the LD20. See the uh, the flood, and then we'll go back to the M20S. You see how much brighter that is. It's 
crazy bright. And the LD20 is a great flashlight, but it's, uh, the M20S is really outpacing it here. Of course, there are different categories of lights, but you can see how crazy bright that is. Anyways, that's about it, guys, for me and the Ghetto Bird. Check you out later. I'm using CR123s in this right now. Uh, you can also use the RCR123As. Those are the rechargeables. You can use two 16340s, one 18650, or one 17670. Uh, I think I might be trying the 18650s next. I might pick up some rechargeable 18650s and see how that goes. The four hours on high uh, for the 320 lumens, that's quoted with using an 18650. So I think I might try those next and see what the difference in output is like. Uh, weight, this is 121.5 grams, which is roughly 4.3 ounces. has a, has a, ni a nice weight to it. Uh, it's not too heavy. It's nice, but it has a nice heft, I'll say. Uh, if you were to hit somebody with this, you'd definitely get the job done. Let me see, you get a full grip on here. It's very comfortable. Also, I'm going to switch back. I'm going to cut the camera for a second, and I'm going to put the... Uh, any roll bezel on, and because uh, I had a request for that to show a uh, a strong grip on it, a strike grip with the any roll bezel and the normal ones. So be right back. Well, I had this off. I wanted to show you. Uh, it does use double O rings, which I like for the water sealing, and also this is what the uh, the battery holder looks like. There's two CR123s in there. And like I said, you can buy more of those to. Uh, to store extra batteries. So you have them in like a little holster, you can pop it out, pop another one in without messing with a bunch of batteries. It's a nice nice little option for it. Okay, I'm gonna throw on the uh I'm gonna throw on the anti roll here. One thing I don't like is when you're switching from the anti roll uh to the smooth, you have to kind of force it over the O rings and you can kind of pull them out of uh out of their little ruts there so you got to be careful when you're switching it out but not a big deal so oops push it down there get it seated okay we got it nice and tight you see there it is with the anti-roll okay so here's a firm grip with the, the anti-roll bezel on it See, I have, I have enough space here just to get a, get a nice tight grip on it. It's pretty comfortable. I don't have the biggest hands in the world, but you can see that's what it looks like in my hand. Uh, if you had really wide hands, uh, you might be gripping up on the on the uh, any roll bezel itself, uh, which isn't the most comfortable, but I, can, but I can definitely tell you that it is an extremely firm grip. But uh, I have enough space here with my hand size to, uh, to get my hand under the uh, any roll bezel and just have enough to have your uh, your strike bezel out for an impact. I also forgot to point out that the rear could also be used for impact. See it has like a uh, kind of a sweeping kind of a wave design all the way around it. So they're not being nice to them either way. If you hit them with the front or, or the rear uh, they're definitely going to have a bad day. Here's the weapons mount. This is from Olight themselves. It's only 10 bucks extra. They have the offset mount as well, which is I think fifteen dollars. I might try one of those. We'll see how this one goes though. Let's get the uh, decent fasteners on there. Seems pretty sturdy. This can be used for the M20 or the M20S. This also came with two Allen wrenches uh, for the two various or the two sizes of uh, fasteners there. So it seems pretty decent. Not the best in the world. I'll throw some Loctite on it. I'm sure it'll be all right. But let's bring in the macro footage. This review has already gone way too long. Needless to say, I give this light a huge thumbs up. If you haven't checked out the torture test video, uh, I'll put a link to that in the description box. Um, they put this through hell, and it's uh, very tough. Very tough light. So I definitely would give this a high high recommendation. I really, really enjoy this light. So I'll bring in the macro footage, and uh, thanks for sitting through that uh, long-winded review. But that's about it, guys. Later.